Well, guys, we got fired from our cushy Silicon Valley job. And here I am, out in the woods, trying to make a go of it. Me and Bessie. I, I got... I, I picked up a cow. That's pretty much all I... Well, I got a little bit more of the show for it. Got a little bit of property, but really, guys, there's not much here. You're fired. So, guys, I took my severance pay from our cushy Silicon Valley job. And I've gone and I've bought quite a bit of property, but it's it's pretty useless property as well. No one really wants it. So we're going to head up to the hills. I'll show you around. And you know what? Guys, Bessie's going to be our um, our mode of transportation here. Come on, Bessie. Let's go. You you got this little girl, right? Better than me pulling this cart, I suppose. Oh, boy. Do you think maybe you could speed things up a, a little bit maybe for us? Go. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's a little bit better. I don't think she's going to keep this up for too much longer. Anyways, guys, Bessie and I are starting a new farm from scratch. I mean, literally from scratch. It's... Me, her, and wagon and a chainsaw. That's really all we got. We spent our whole our whole severance pay on the property. We got a lot of land. It's all pretty it's pretty rough land. We got a lot of work to do in order to make this all work out. Man, I don't even know where to start to be honest. We're gonna have to take down a lot of trees. Oh come on, baby. Let's get across these tracks. Don't hit those, thank you. And um let's head up the hills. Across the river and up into the hills we go. Bessie's got some hill climbing to do. Um, she's this could be one of our first things we're gonna need to worry about, guys. Is really how are we gonna do with her loading everything in and out? I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but she's gonna be the responsible one for um, hauling a lot of stuff to begin with here, guys. So the land itself is pretty barren. There's not a lot up on this bank. There is one structure. It is an old fire tower, but that is really it. Bessie and I are starting from nothing, guys, and we got to build this up. We're going to be really roughing it here for the first little bit. In fact, you know, if times get real tough, if things get real tough, you know, at least there's one good thing. I think um, I've got stakes that I could probably make up pretty quickly if I need to, right? Okay, okay, okay. I would never do that to whole Bessie. Come on now. But look at the guys. So we've got all this property up here. It's actually like pristine property in some ways. It looks it looks nice. We've got lots of trees. We've got lots of open land. We just got to start building stuff up here, and I think I've got a, I've got a plan for where I want to build. I mean, we can overlook town. We can maybe if we set this up right, we can be like the the kings of Hillaby Creek. That's kind of the plan there. We'll have a, like a nice overlooking view of everything, but we're gonna have to make some money by well, hopefully doing some logging. We're gonna be doing a bunch of logging here. In fact, that there is going to be our goal for this farm. Can we make ten million bucks realistically on this piece of land? Really starting from scratch. I mean, look at this. It's, it's beauty up here, guys. She's beauty. Can we make 10 million bucks starting from scratch without turning old Bessie into hamburger? Does that sound like a good idea, Bessie? What do you think? No? You, you, you want to be turned into hamburger? Well, maybe after a dozen walks up and down this hill, maybe you'll want to be wishing for that. I don't know. So goal one for this farm is going to be, well, knocking down a bunch of these trees, clearing this land off. We need to clear a whole bunch of this land. As you can see, she's pretty treed in. We need to start clearing this off. I need to get some fertile land so we can plant some crops and build our farm off that. I mean, we've got lots of land. We just have to clear all these trees off, all these brushes, all everything that's up here basically it needs to be cleaned up, knocked down, and torn apart so we can build our farm, guys. And then on top of that, I still need to build the old farmyard, which is going to kind of go over on the peninsula over here. You know, this is a great spot right over here where Bessie's sitting. Look at this. If we can clean this up, flatten this all down, I think this is going to be a beauty spot for, like, our farmhouse. Unfortunately, right now, we're going to be roughing it, guys. Like, seriously. We're going to be seriously roughing this. Sorry, Betsy. I don't think there's room for both of us in this one. You're going to have to rough it a little more than I am. But, you know what? Maybe if we get lucky, we cut some of these trees down, make some money right now. Who knows? We'll see what we can do. Let's um, get the chainsaw out and get to work. So I think the plan will be we're going to start working our way back from the fire tower here. I, like I said, I want to I want to build a farm here, guys. So we need to start by moving some of these trees and cleaning this stuff out. I need to knock some stuff down, make some money, and we'll see where we go from there. Get the hut, get the husk of the chainsaw out. We're going to start knocking these down. See if I can um, hopefully get some cash off this stuff. Good job. Oh, easy. Knock a bunch of these down and we'll throw all these logs in that trailer and uh, take them back down into town and hopefully get enough money today to, to maybe buy some small pieces of equipment. I don't know. We'll see what we can get. If I can get something maybe on, on the used market, 
that's going to be something we're, I mean, really, we're going to have to look at the used market for sure, aren't we? Let's be honest here. And of course, they've got to be small enough chunks that I can pick them all up as well, which is great. Let's see if I can kind of stack a bunch of these up so I can find them afterwards, which will be a little bit beneficial, I'm sure. All right, I think I got enough wood for our first load. Took us about half an hour to start cutting trees down and, and bucket them all up. Let's load up the uh, the trailer and head back into town. Come on, Bessie, let's go. Yeah, she's not too keen on uh, loading these logs by the looks of things. I think I cut these short enough I can actually pick them all up too, which is kind of nice. Ugh, these big ones here are a little bit heavier, but um, I wonder if there's different prices on for the pine versus, I don't know if there's some other, there's two different types of trees up here. Like you can see the different types of wood. I don't know if they're different prices per, I have no idea. I'm just trying to get rid of what I can right now. All right, guys, that looks like a, a pretty decent size haul. Oh, come on, Bessie. Let's um, take her down the hill nice and nice and easy. Made her down the hill, coming slowly back into civilization. It's like a hiking trail up here. There's a bunch of people walking around. They kind of park down here as well. What's going on here? Yeah, just going for a little hike, are you? You stay off my property, all right? Stay off my property. I mean, at least on the bright side, um, the roadways are all serviced for me, so I don't need to, to worry too much about that. They even take care of this little bridge here. If, can we make a little bit of money off this so I can actually buy something that's going to make this trip a little bit faster? I mean, we can leave old Bessie up at the up at the farm area, up at the cabin, wherever we plan on building there. She can work that at least and still use her up there. But I need something to make this trip just a little bit quicker. All right, on to the road. Sorry, sorry guys. My, sorry about that. My bad. Yeah, sorry. All right, timber time. I got your load of logs. Uh, load, load of logs? A load of logs. Please, 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 please. Oh, easy, easy, Bessie. I know you're, you're excited to get rid of these. I know you're super excited. Relax, relax. Um, maybe they don't want logs? I thought they wanted logs. Why did you guys want your logs? Oh, Bessie, I'm, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Um, apparently they don't want our logs here. They're not interested in our wood, Bessie. I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? It's okay. I, they've been told, I guess, we can just go drop it off the train. The train station will take it. I don't know why she's complaining. I'm the one who's going to restack all these logs again. Not a lot of money here. I was hoping for substantially more. Oh, we got $3,000 exactly. Is that it? Oh, man, that's it. I got lots of more log cutting to do, guys. Maybe I can find something in the used market. Yeah, I just took a quick uh, bruise through our used market. I mean, I can get a truck for about six grand. There's a, a John Deere 6,000, what is that, 6030, I think it was, going for about 13. That's still nowhere close to what I have right now. I've got to go, I got to go cut some more trees down. Yep, let's cut them down. Guys, I, I'm, I'm actually worried about I'm running out of fuel in my chainsaw. I think that might be a bigger problem. Yeah, we're, we're doing great. We're, we're doing fantastic. Hey, Bessie, can you bring the trailer closer? All right, we've uh, done a little bit of work, actually. Guys, look at it. We've got a stack here, a nice little stack. And look at the big open field. I mean, things are starting to happen. It's starting to look like a bit of a logging camp of sorts. Now all that's left is um, to go back down into town with the slow way. The slow way. Bessie, come on. Let's just take her nice and easy down the hill. I know, I know. A second, third time technically already today. Easy, easy. Oh, 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 she's got a little bit of energy. She's a little excited. You know what? We'll, we'll make it easier on her this time. Let's just go to the train station instead. We'll drop them off at the train station. And look at this. I've already got to load it loaded up. Over on the far side, you can see all the logs back there. I was going to put them on this, like, the, the logging racks. Didn't really work out, so I just kind of threw them on top of the flat deck. I'm sure that'll be fine, right? Let's go um, Let's go jump inside. We had to rent the train. It cost cost a little bit of money. But you, whatever. We get to go for a train ride around the county, which is not too bad, right? That's worthwhile. Relatively inexpensive. As long as the logs work out. As long as we can just sell them off on this. That might be easier than um, well, the last time we did this. Stop, stop, stop. There it goes. Is that it? Uh, uh, not bad. Was that 4000 bucks roughly? Okay, okay, okay. Hey, that ain't bad, guys. That ain't bad at all. All right, just return the train. 170 bucks it cost us. That's a lot better than to take old Bessie across. Hey, Bessie, that's a lot better than trying to get way the heck over there with you yeah don't worry we're gonna climb the hill still with you don't worry oh I got some more logs to load up i'm gonna a lot more to cut down oh slowly getting there guys very slowly if you don't done what three or four five trips now um yeah i mean we're we're definitely making some headway lots of lots of trees to cut down still some more to go here let me load this up one thing i have noticed these types of trees here we're getting a lot more money for these i mean they're bigger trees to begin with uh, so I have to buck them up into smaller pieces so I can pick them up. But 
they're bigger trees and I tend to get a lot more money for them. Like, I, I don't know, I, I think I did the math. It's about a thousand bucks per tree. I'm getting a little more than that. So yeah, for each of these really tall ones like like that, they're, they're worth a lot more than these ones. I think it's like a hard pine versus a soft pine. I don't know. Those ones are worth more though. All right, Betsy, another load. I think uh, that's going to be full enough for now. 34 grand now. This will probably put us up to about uh, 40 some. You know what? Another, another 15, 20 grand. Uh, and you know, like by the end of the day, I think we'll have no problem buying what I need to buy. Now, the delimmer that's going to cut our logs in a nice even, even sizes. Oh, where did I go down over here? Over to the left, I think. Yeah, I'll cut the logs into nice even sizes. And uh, yeah, it, it, we need a tractor for it, unfortunately. But the delimmer itself is on sale for about 20 grand. I think it's 23 something. It's on sale, which is nice. So I can buy that right now, but then I still need a tractor that's got roughly 200 horsepower in order to run it. Y yeah, and I don't know what I'm going to do for that yet. I still need to, to weigh some options on that. That's going to be probably about 50 grand by the time I'm all in. Oh boy. All right, guys. I think that's enough logging for today at least. I'm going to start making some phone calls and see if I can get some equipment. Bessie, you did good today. You did. Yeah. Shake your head. You're you're doing great. No, we did. We did some serious damage back there. Let's take a little break. But you know what? It's enough damage today. Let's um, see if we can figure out what we're going to buy. And hopefully something comes up in our used. We can get something used to, to knock some more trees down. As, as good as Bessie's been doing, I think we need to give her a break and maybe hopefully put her out to pasture sooner than later guys anyways um i'll see you see you in a bit oh boy hey guys welcome back in welcome back in uh look at our little campsite down there and um look at the amount of trees i've knocked down in here i've, I've started making this i think it's one field i've made right there anyways guys i've got plans for um well knocking down a bunch more trees today i want to make this whole area as much i want to clear this out pretty much completely this whole Almost as far back as you can see. We need to clear all these trees out, and I need to get some proper uh, wood processors to do that. So, let me go show you what I bought. It's um, well, it's it's all the way down there. So, oh, uh, Bessie, where are you at? You, you ready to go, girl? <laughs> all right, let's. You know what? Don't worry. You're not gonna be hauling anything back up. At least, don't worry. We're just gonna go for a walk, and then you can follow me back with the tractor. Oh, there we go. Bessie made it back up as well. Here is our new um, I'd call it a forestry equipment, but it's kind of makeshift, guys, to say the least. Hey, you know what? When it all comes together, it's a decent price. I still need one, well, at least one more piece right away. So what do we got here? Wow. Of course, you're running with a John Deere 4955. This is the two-wheel drive version, of course. This is running around 205 horsepower we have this. It has roughly, I think, 16 hours on it already. It is um, a little bit, it's a little bit beat up. Really low hours, really, to be honest, for the age of this thing. I'm pretty happy with that. This cost us, I think, was just, just over 40,000 bucks. Um, yeah, just over 40 grand the way this one's set up. Now I've got a three point hitch in the front. We've got, of course, a front arm on that with a 643R. And then I've got a log carrier. So we're able to move some logs with this. That was brand spanking new. I couldn't find that used, unfortunately. But back here, the uh, the log processing unit, this is was a little bit more expensive than I had anticipated. In fact, I had to go do some more logging in order to finish off the price on this, guys. This was actually almost 50,000 bucks. So. Yeah, there was a little bit more logging that happened this morning, to say the least. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bessie, you're still going to need to take one more load at least down below so we can buy a trailer. That's one more thing I still need, guys. But for now, let's uh, let's give this processor a chance and see how she's going to work out for us. I really, I know it's a bit more of a pain. I really, I would love to have been able to buy like a full tree processing unit. Guys, it's just not in the cards yet. We're not there. So let's start with some small trees. We'll knock these down. Hopefully there's no trees I'm going to run into that don't uh, that don't work for us. Hopefully I can handle all these guys. But like I have to unfold every time, I think. And uh, we'll have to go from there. It is what it is. All right, now maybe I can stack these off to the one side here. Let's just see. Uh, easy, easy, easy. Pull that down and just kind of bring it over here. Just kind of make a little stack beside us. Yeah, that should work right about there. Nice. Ooh, those are a little bit bigger than I was expecting. Yeah, and, and that's what she said. I don't think that's what she said. I'm going to have to cut these in half to get them on the trailer. Yeah, I didn't plan that through, did I? No, did not plan that one through, guys. But we'll have to figure that one out later. But on the bright side, it is uh, substantially uh, faster than my chainsawing skills. Um, so at least there's that, right? Maybe? maybe just, you just want to grab onto that? All right, and then we can maybe just try and drag this over again. You know what I really need, guys, is like a shrub destroyer. There's way too many shrubs. I can't even see what I'm doing half the time in here. We're doing, I think, four and a half meter sections with this. No, four meter sections. 
So that looks a little bit better. We're gonna go load that trailer up and hopefully this is enough money to get us into uh, into something new, guys. I'm really hoping that this is enough. Okay, let's see if I can just grab some of these. All right, we got, I think we got all three of them there. Grab that on up. Oh, perfect, okay. Um. Oh yeah, I didn't cut these in half, did I? Yeah, that's not gonna work out so well. Let me put them with the other ones for now and we'll cut these in a second. Oops. Yeah, I definitely gotta cut those in half if I wanna get them to go on that trailer. Trailer's a little bit small. You know, well, once we get a bigger trailer, then um, then we can look at doing that potentially, I suppose. You know what? Fine. Then I'll just grab I'll grab these four meter ones instead. We'll see if I can grab a bunch of these instead. And then, yeah, see, like that might work out all right. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, no, that's that's not good. We don't want that. No, 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 no. We don't want that at all. There we go. Okay. Open open the arms up, please. T today, Junior. T today oh, it looks so much better a second ago oh i got one great that's that's perfect fine i'll just kind of ram ram it in that, that's you know what that always seems to work better for me anyways let's be honest all right well we got a couple logs let's go load these ones in oh yeah this is going so well right now well at least they're fitting on the, the trailer well for the most part at least looks not bad And now on to the smaller logs. Hopefully these ones here I can grab. I've cut them all up now in a little bits. Hopefully I can maybe grab a couple of them at once. Mm, how about I, if I can grab one now? How about I just, can I grab one? Please grab one. Okay, you know what? That's all right. If I can go nice and slow now, I can probably load them in, right? Yeah, we're going to need a proper um, a proper trailer here very quickly, I think, guys. Oh, I should be able to get a couple more on there, right? I keep on, I put one on and it just fell off the other side. I'm going to try and get some smaller ones and see if I can load those guys up. I mean, yeah, in theory, the fact now that... Um, we're getting longer logs. They should sell for a little bit more, I think. I hope. Please, please say yes. Um, at least that's what I'm going for. That's the the prevailing thought process I'm going for to make this worthwhile. Otherwise, this is going to be all for kind of naught and uh, be a bit of a pain in the butt in the process. So hopefully, I'm going to make a little bit more cash off these. I can push these guys up against that stump there. I can probably load it in one, one go, maybe. Nope, I totally pushed some logs out of the way instead, which is not what I wanted to do, but we'll see what I can grab here. But I just want to kind of shove you guys up against that, and then I can hopefully kind of just finagle my way in, close these, tilt you back. Hey, look at that. Hey, hey, there we go. Now now we're cooking. All right, let's go load these guys up and hopefully um, maybe make a sale. Oh, stay, stay. St good, good, good. Nice job. Come on, Bessie, I promise you. Not too many more loads, I promise. Maybe a, maybe a couple more. We'll see. All right, Bessie is done. No more. She's not going to do any more loads down below, at least for the time being. Guys, I got a trailer. I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing to write home about. But, I mean, we got a trailer. We sold off all of our, our logs on the last load. Another... It was seven grand were the logs and i got a fairly inexpensive trailer to be honest i i didn't didn't see this one before this is actually really good so uh this is going to be used to uh we'll load this trailer up and then we can take this old 7955 and use that to transport from now on oh come on baby get up that hill oh gotta grab some gears grab those gears <laughs> You know what good to know that it can climb it i wonder how she'd do with a full load too bad i couldn't connect the trailer to that so on top of that i'm gonna max out, or not max out i'm gonna extend our length our cut length down to eight meters now we'll see if that helps out at all with pricing maybe it'll help a little bit cut that down let's swing it this way which way are you gonna fall for me yeah there we go thank you and we'll stick that right there and start cutting yeah it might be easier to do i don't, I don't know if eight meters will fit on that trailer but we're gonna find out you guys it's gonna be pretty close i think oh boy eight meters feels a little um a little long yeah, and that's that's not gonna work at all. That's that's not gonna work at all, you guys. Man, I was really, really hoping that that would have worked. All right, we got a bunch of trees down. Let's um, let's go load these guys up. Let's just grab these guys right here. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. A little bit, a uh, little top heavy right now. Just gotta kind of just gotta swing it on in. Just kind of nice and gently put her down. Don't dump this all over the ground, please. Nice, nice and slow. There you go. Yeah, yeah, right, right about, right about there, and just roll off. You, you can do this. Roll off, roll off. Are you? Come, okay, one, two, three. Okay, oh come on, really? Oh man, come on. 
All right, try number two. You know what? Brilliant idea. If we just load more logs onto it, it'll balance it out, right? That's how this works. It's physics. It is physics. This is how this works. Let's put the logs down and let's just drop. It didn't move the trailer at all. It, it didn't. It didn't do. The physics are broken. Oh yeah, we got this. Let's let's load a bunch more of these logs up. Let's go. Come on, get on there. My new working theory is that this trailer works better the more we load it. I see that's it's. I mean, it's simple math on how this is going to work out. Simple math. The more we load it, the better. Oh, that logs kind of stuck. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to connect. Oh, it does too. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. Grab that. You know what? That's not bad. I'm not going to complain with that. All right, so the John Deere makes it out to the trail. Not too badly. It's a little bit of a... Watch out, folks. I'm trying to come down the hill here. Oh, boy. Guys, you have any idea how dangerous this is? Guys, get out of the way. Get out of the way. No. Oh. <laughs> got a little bit too much weight in the trailer. Watch out. Coming down. Holy. It's a good thing we got some weight in the... Oh, good thing those front brakes are working. Okay, we're, we're through, we're through, we're through. Yeah, well, Bessie's had a heck of a time with this hill as well, but at least it won't be so bad going back up. We should be empty. Well, um, I mean, not not too, too bad, I guess. We sold the last little bit there. I don't even know when we end up in total. Like 12, 13 grand? Another load ready to go. Oh, that one's kind of stuck. You know what? Straps can fix anything. There we go. Don't even need to worry about it. Straps will fix it. Literally the duct tape of Farming Simulator is straps, I'm telling you. All right, let's just watch out for the landmines here. I gotta watch out for all these logs sticking out everywhere. Hey, look, you know what? Not a bad looking load for this little trailer. I am actually pretty happy with this. New equipment already picked up. We got a brand new, well, it's gonna be like a mulcher stump grinder tool. I'm told it'll do both. So hopefully we can use this destroy all of these uh, stumps that are sticking up and then use this maybe to to mulch up let's test it out let's fire this thing on up oh yeah there we go okay it's gonna go through the stumps no problem and then we just gotta see if we can use it to do some mulching and uh like cultivating basically as well so it's like a two for one okay okay so it is working but oh the struggle is is real right now <laughs> come on baby get up this hill it's um if we had maybe a weight on the back we get a little more traction but i don't know we're, we're running a little low on horsepower too Come on, get on up here. Like, it's going to take me a hot minute to get through all this. Let's be perfectly honest. But she is working as advertised. I mean, I can go ahead and cultivate. And then whenever I run into a stump, I just kind of push my way through it. And yeah, it's gone. It takes care of it all. So it is going to help me create my fields at, well, somewhat of an efficient manner, I guess. Gotten rid of a lot of these stumps. Now let's just get rid of some of these logs we've cut down and uh, make some room out here so we can make this field. We got quite a few logs to kind of pack away, which is good because we get to sell them all then at least, right? Sell all these logs off, make some more money, and then hopefully, I guess hopefully very soon we can start uh, planting this field. Get on there, please. Come on. Yep. Yeah, it looks like it's it's on, right? Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of on. Anyways, we're going to plant this field hopefully right away here. I w I'm almost done, guys. I'm, well, we got, we got to make the field still, but I mean, we're almost done with the logs at least, which is kind of a good sign. Another trailer decently loaded ish i think you just last little come on get off my forks thank you all right let's go take this one down as well that's not not bad guys okay the trip is way better than taking bessie down there and back way faster with the john deere we've done way more trips already so much better and now back to just cleaning up this field let's get this done last little bit here we got a, like one more maybe two more stumps to get rid of gotcha and guys we need to figure out it's, it's planting time i gotta buy some equipment i got i got a line on what i'm gonna buy but this is done this first field finally well is kind of prepped now i'm going to need a direct drill or something to take care of this and it's it's got to be rough because you could well, you guys can see how rough this ground is right not much i can do about that it, hopefully we can find a way to plant directly into this all right, field's done. That took a hot minute, but here's what we bought with our profits from that, guys. We got a new Cavernland Direct Drill. Yeah, it's hopefully should work. And hopefully this cleans up. I mean, there's lots of sticks and little pebbles and shrubs out here still that I didn't really, I wasn't able to get rid of, to be honest with you. I mean, we cleaned up what we could. I'm hoping that this is like self-clearing, maybe somehow um, realistic. But it is doing what it needs to do, guys. I mean, it looks like we got grass seed going in the ground. I never talked about this, did I? But we were doing grass. We're going to do something simple. 
and cheap because I can't afford to buy a combine right now. So we're going to just do some grass for now. Maybe we'll figure out if we do hay, we do silage, we can do that. Anyways, everything's going in nicely. It seems to be planting just the way I need it to. Look at it. It's even cleaning up all the debris. All the debris is being cleaned up. Well, after all this, I can kind of see why no one else came up here and did this. This is a lot more work than I bargained for. But we're about to have our very first field prepped and done and ready to go up here. I'm kind of excited, guys. This was a lot of work, of course, with what we had to start with. But you know what? Things are coming together right now. This field is going to be good to go. And this farm is going to slowly start coming together. Field one is completed. It's a success as far as I can tell, but you didn't think we we're going to stop there, did you? No, 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 no. Yeah, we're going to start working on the second field right away here. No messing around. No rest for the wicked. Let's get in here. Let's get to work before winter comes. Winter is coming for sure. Let's go. So this is going to work out just pretty much like that last field, guys. Only now we kind of have a bit more of a plan on how it's all going to come together. We may change things up a little bit here and there as we work through it. But I mean, got to start off by... um. Well, we'll bucking these trees up, of course, and and maybe if we can at all stack them together. I mean, that's kind of convenient when we can make that work out for us. Sometimes it works out like perfectly and extremely well for us. But a lot of the times I just kind of do this and knock it into everything else because that's <laughs> how I do things. From here, I want to take our somewhat nicely stacked piles and I mean, I'm using that that wordage fairly vaguely, um, more of an approximation on how much I've stacked them. But hey, look at there's a there's some piles here. Anyways, we're gonna take these fairly nicely stacked piles, and of course, reload our trailer, which is looking um, like she's getting a little bit beat. But hey, you know what? It's it's working way better than Bessie could have ever dreamed of. Drop it easy, easy. Just open those forks up and roll off. Hey, look at not bad. Um, not great. But not bad. I think that might be my new motto for uh, things, guys. I'm not great, but not bad. We'll do in a pinch. Um, yeah, that's like my new, I think my new motto. All right, September has come and gone. We are moving into October. I still have lots of work to do on this field here that we've been building. The first field you can see in the far, in the distance there, it was got, it's got grass growing up already. But this one here, we still have lots of work. This field is actually going to be quite a bit bigger than the original field too and as well the logging skills the logging skills are um, really starting to come together here come on just bring you down and over oh yeah 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 and let's drop you right with your friends over here slowly but surely we will become proficient farming sim loggers the more i, I do this i'm sure I can just gotta finagle things around and then toss these oh that's a that's a big log um was I saying something about being proficient loggers? Because I feel like I'm just kind of breaking something. You know what? I got a plan for that, I'm sure. I feel like I need like a stump song whenever we're knocking stumps down. My stumps, my stumps. I, no, that's not a great song at all. Never mind. Okay, so it turns out we've got like three different types of trees here. We got the one I'm grabbing right now. This one here is like the normal tree. This is... Yeah, it's okay. It's the nice thing is actually this one's actually fairly easy to grab and toss and put onto the trailer. We got the big trees, of course, as well. But then, like all in this little area, we've got all these little I don't know these little scrub trees. I don't want no scrubs. I think there's like a song about that one too. Anyways, I don't really like these. These trees are a pain. They kind of suck. They're not really big. They I don't get much out of them, and they take about the same amount of work. So. Um, I wish I could just chip these things. They just, they're getting in the way and they're like really not worth anything. But you know what they say? You got to fight through the scrubs in order to get to the pearls. Is that a, is that, I don't think it's a saying. It could be a saying. I'm going to go with it. It's a saying from now on. Speaking of pearls though, let's get this guy down and we'll buck this one up. This, these are the ones I want. I want these. Can we have all of these? I wish we had all of these on this property. Give me all of it, because these guys here are no scrubs. These here are the Mac Daddy trees. These are the Mac Daddies. Let's, let's call them the Mac Daddy trees from now on. All right, guys, this could be the last trip I need to make with the uh, 4955 up and down this hillside. We've got a new order on, well, a new to us truck. It's actually new. It's it's was just locked away or something bizarre. Anyways, it's going to cost us a few bucks. 
but this is gonna make my life a little bit easier as far as loading and I'm really hoping we can go with bigger trees from now on instead of these little five meter scrub guys. Oh, come on, Betsy, get her on this. This is Betsy and then Bessie. You gotta, you gotta make sure you guys get it straight. I, I hate having the wrong names for tractors and cows, but I just make sure this, this hill is, um, this hill's a little rough. Hopefully the new truck can handle this. She's got a few nays, so it should be all right. All right, jabronis, look what we got. We got our brand new truck and a legal trailer. That's a Mack truck, legal trailer. This is where it is going to be at. This is going to make, well, transporting our logs so much better. Well, of course, depending how she does on this hill. Come on, baby. Let's wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around. Keep our speed up and hammer, hammer down. Let's go get up this hill. Um... 12. Well, yeah, we go. We're accelerating. You know what? When you're accelerating up a hill this size, you know you're going to be okay, right? Kind of accelerating at least. Keep going, please. Let's go. All right, new truck and trailer, guys. The big thing we want with this, of course, is we can haul much larger logs. I mean, better sell prices for these is like 8 to 11 meters. So I'm cutting at, I think it's 9, maybe 10 meters. I can't remember what I set it to. Anyways, we've got fairly large logs here that I'm gonna put on this trailer now, as long as um, this can handle it. There we go, come on up. Hey, that's perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, just drop it on in. And if I can load all these, like, you know, 10 meter-ish logs. Guys, look at look at this, perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is gonna be great. So we get longer logs, we're gonna get more money, which equals more equipment, which equals happy clutch. Oh man, that log pile we just had there, probably would have been two, maybe three trailer fulls before. We got all those logs easily on this one trailer. Guys, this is going to be so much better. Perfect. So much less dilly-dallying. I'm telling you, this is way better. We can cut our trees down somewhat quickly, grab the forks, pick up those logs, and then simply bring them back. And they're, like, they're bigger, so they're a lot faster to move around. And then almost easier to load up. Almost, almost easier. Once we get up to the top here, things are getting a little interesting because I can't tip the forks down all the way. We're a little small, but you know what? It's still, get back off. There we go. It's still feasible. So way better, so much better. I am loving this. This is um, making my life about 10 times better right now. This trailer is the best, best upgrade we could have possibly done. And just when I say things are looking good, we start getting nailed with some rain. Ugh. Of course, we're losing tons of traction now. Um, things are sinking in a little bit. You know what? I've never been one to back down from a challenge, so rain, bring it on. We got this. Let's let's go logs. You're, you're coming out of here, whether you like it or not. Yeah, the, the challenging thing is like at least we're kind of flat. At least everything's fairly flat, so that shouldn't cause too much of a problem. And then it's downhill with the truck as well. Easy, easy. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's way better than the truck. <laughs> I'm, not gonna lie. I don't, I'm not worried about blowing this corner and going straight into the creek from here. So I think, um, all in all, yeah, way, way, way better. That was so much easier. Well, downhill, we should be able to make it back up. Even in the rain, shouldn't have a problem getting back up this cliffside, I don't think. All right, well, you know what? With the weather rolling in and night pretty much upon us, I think it's time we just kind of took a step back recognize how much we've done here and call it for the day i mean look at this field guys this field i mean it's not quite there but it's getting close we are just you know just steps away we just need to start tilling this up and we should be good i need to figure out a new solution for that but i mean moreover we've got one whole field it's it's growing we've got hay we got grass growing up here it's looking good. So let me get some sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, rolling into November. She's getting chilly out here, and we're running a little low on time before the snow flies. Want to get this field done today. We have the one one big field we've been working on. Really want to get that prepped. And you know what? Just to show you guys, we've cut down, what is it, four, 434 trees. We've cut down 434 trees so far. And that's only going to be increasing exponentially as we um, keep on plowing into these fields. This should be our last load. We got a little bit more logs down here, but look at the trailer here. It is full. Guys, this is it. This is all the wood off this field. From here on, we just got to create this field. We got to mulch it all up. Now, by mulching things up, I'm not really saying the right things here because I'm doing things a bit differently, guys. That's right. The new setup. It's a little bit different. We picked up a used John Deere disc harrower. We're gonna disc this field up and see if that can help create it. 
This uh, this disc should help six meters with old John Deere disc harrower. Should should really help us out. Of course, we've got the mulcher up front for stumps, and I'm hoping I'm really hoping this can be like the jack of all trades. We can just kind of lower it down in the field, and we can start tilling this field up, disking this field up. And as we go around, when we run into stumps, I can turn that mulcher on. And that there should, in theory, be able to take care of any of the logs and such that we might run into that give us some problems. Fingers crossed that that works. Let's uh, let's just see how she goes. We got a couple logs uh, on the far side there. We'll run into those in just, just one second, I'm sure. Okay, maybe not the most conventional way of getting through a field, but let's watch. See? Like, it, it still gets it done, doesn't it? Um... I, yeah, I can't really complain. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it any faster with what I've got. Guys. I think this, uh, you know what? I already know by comparison of what we did beforehand of using that mulcher stump remover to, to clean up these fields. That took for freaking ever. This here, this is um, no contest. I mean, we're doing what? Three passes essentially with one pass because of the new disc. Way better. Now, I don't know if I'm really on that much of a time crunch. I might be able to get this planted today. It's not really going to matter. We're not going to get much of a growing season out of this until next year. Anyways, even if we do grass again, eh, you know what it is, what it is. We're going to have to wait a little bit. So I'm going to make sure we get this all cleaned up. I should have time to get this planted today at least. And uh, we'll discuss where we go from there. But this system, so far, I mean, we're on our second pass. Guys, this is pretty bad. Look, at it. I could just kind of go through, find the logs, and then uh, clean them up, and then keep on going. I mean, really, we are pretty much already done like that felt like it text took next to no time we got a couple rocks out here in the middle that um they can't really move so we're just gonna make little rock islands out of them to hopefully avoid them while we're planting but guys slick system slick system this is um going to work out just well just perfect for the rest of these fields up here i think we'll kind of keep this around and use this for whenever we're kind of making new fields up in this neck of the woods rain seems to be holding off let's get back into this field let's get this thing planted here this morning Get her done before like noonish, and um, yeah, get, it'll be done. I won't have to think about planting anymore this year. We can just focus on uh, what's going to be coming next year. But man, things are coming together. It looks like I'm not going to have. There's no way I'll have enough seed. No way I'll have to go pick up some seed. Other than that, this should be a fairly, uh, fairly straightforward planting area, guys. And it looks like I'm just about to run out of seed. We're not too much left to do here. I mean, probably one more fill on this, and we should be good. As you can see, we've done a decent amount. But guys, it's, uh, that's it. That's all I got for seed. I got no seed here up on the, on the farm site. I don't want to call it a farm because she ain't a farm yet. But we got to go back down, grab some couple bags of seeds maybe. I'll find a way to, to bring those up and refill. That's pretty much all we've got. I mean, I, I'm definitely, um, definitely empty now. That is what it is. Yeah. Oh, well. You know what? It'd be nice if we had fertilizer too. I don't have a way of distributing fertilizer yet. That's still something that's going to be down the path. You can see we've still got a good two-thirds of this field to do, but we need to get seed first, so let me go pick up some seed. Yeah, don't have a flat deck yet, and didn't take Bess Bessie down with me, so we're going to try and drag this up. Oh, come on. <laughs> with the John Deere, uh, we got the two seed bags in front with uh, being held on with our log forks. Yep, this is um, not the best way to do this, but you know what? I don't have a lot of other options quite yet, do I? So come on, baby, get up there. The, the struggle is definitely real. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guys, I'm, I'm grabbing gears in this tractor. Gotta grab those gears. Lower it down. Come on. Get up there. Nice. And eat. Oh, yeah. We're good. We're good. We got this. Was there ever a doubt? All right. Let's low, load her up. Let's uh, spin this around. We drop the, the planter right there. Let's take the uh, seed bags and we'll just kind of stick them on top. And we should be good, I think. We got two bags. Should be more than enough for the rest of the year. This should only take about one. So if I can just load one one in, just load one in. Oh, or both. Yeah, maybe we'll load both in. Why not? <laughs> just load both in. And then I'll have two left over that are like a half full. Yeah, whatever. So it looks like we've managed to beat the rain. We have, however, found a few more rocks here and there that I didn't really see beforehand. But things are looking decent, guys. Look at the size of this field. This field's, it's very uh, differently shaped, I have to say. Like, we had to form around the land down here and miss some rock cliff areas. But this is going to be a decent size field. And I'm um, kind of excited to see what we can pull off this. 
in the next couple of years. But looks like everything's coming up the way I need it to right now. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Of course, it was a ton of work. I'm not going to lie. Way more than what I would typically do up here. I mean, way more work than you're going to typically do for real. But when you're starting from scratch and you're out in the boonies, that's what you got to do. I'm going to fill this, uh, this planter up with whatever seed I've got here. We can just kind of grab these seed bags again, hopefully. Just put the forks right in there and uh, go grab them up. So, plans for the future right now. I mean, we're not going to get any other fields built before the snow flies. So, we need to start thinking about how we're going to survive the winter here. Now... I do have a decent nest egg, which I'm still thinking of how I'm going to spend that. Decent nest egg to make it through the winter. And then we can start thinking about next year on where we need to go next. I mean, there's a lot of different things we can do. I think logging is really going to be kind of the staple for the time being. We've got lots of land to still to, uh, to, to run. And I can build that into more fields. We can make the money from the logs. You know what? It's kind of like a win-win. It's a double whammy, if you will. I think that's going to be our best bet. So, you know what? We might as well keep on working on this plan, because I'm going to go kind of pencil out where the next field's going to be based on, well, the geography a little bit, right? We're going to miss these big rocks here. We're going to kind of go down this valley. And this field here is going to be kind of on this hillside all the way back to the trees to a road behind us. That is going to be the plan. And you know what? It, it should work out. I think uh, we just need to pencil this out, kind of get an idea how big this field's going to be. And I think it's going to be fairly large. But I just need to, to get in here and kind of figure it out. And then we'll come in here and start uh, bucking up the trees. Now, from here, it's pretty much status quo, guys. I'm going to go down, down the hillside. We're going to knock these trees all down, try to pile them up, and then load them back up in the trailer. Like I said, we do have a decent little nest egg going here. I'm starting to debate on whether or not we should either... A, just focus on getting equipment for the farm. So it'll be like the, the silage and hay and equipment. Should I focus on that? Or maybe, just maybe, I should focus on getting logging equipment. Maybe we should really push the logging side for a bit. I mean, we've got a couple of months, guys. We've got, it's only it's only November. we got December, we got January and February before we're probably going to get any kind of, uh, be able to cut any of this hay up. So I've got a few months. I'm sure I could buck up enough trees to get you know, another 125, 135, 150, who knows? I can get a lot of money, I think, in that time and be able to afford to buy new equipment by then if I just buy logging equipment now. You see what I'm saying, right? Like, we're, we're gonna, we're buying new equipment. That's really what I'm saying. That's, I hope you guys are picking that up. Oh boy, and of course the rain started to come just as I get everything knocked down too. I mean, there's a lot of damage down there, but man, the rain, and look at look what else I found. Look, look what else I found. This might actually help us with the rain problem. I don't know yet. Let's see. It's all the sale market is is coming up pretty good right now. But most notably, we've got a case for sale. A case front loader. Yeah, let's get this front. What's a wheel loader? Let's get this thing. I want to buy this, guys. I'm, I'm buying it. I want to buy. I, I want a wheel loader. So let's go. Guys, at that price, I can't afford not to buy this. Let's be honest. So we got a, a big log fork on the front of this, of course. This is going to be our log mover. Um, you know what? We got pretty proficient with the John Deere. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous. It does hold a lot more, but I feel like I need to stack them better before I pick them up with this. It, I'm sure it's going to be a, a bit of a mess for a while until I kind of get used to running this. But this can move a lot of logs, and we've got to go all the way down to the bottom here in the rain and bring them all the way back on up top. Okay, easy, easy. Grab the first little stack we got right here. Should be good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I got it. I got it. I got it. We got, we got, yeah, we got this. We we got. Oh, I don't got this. No, nah, it's not great. Okay, okay. We're kind, we're kind of getting it, but it's still a bit of a fight. You know, it's once again the same problem we ran into with the, uh, the John Deere. It's when the logs are full. They don't really want to come off here and and now it's um oh come on please just get, uh, don't fall hey okay okay, okay. Yeah, yeah no bad not bad not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm, I'm happy that's that actually worked out better than i was expecting you know what guys a few more sales like we've already made one trip down and back a few more sales of all these logs as i think we'll have paid this off like before the end of well today like if i do like pretty much one more load it's going to have paid this uh, this new case, this case wheel loader off today. And that's kind of amazing. I mean, literally, a couple hours worth of work, not even, and we managed to pay for this this new piece of equipment. It It's making our life a little bit easier. There's no way I could carry this many logs, of course. This would probably be two or probably three loads. 
going up and back with the John Deere. So it does make my life a little bit quicker. I don't know if it's um, that much better. I need to find a better loading solution because this is this is here is where the struggle begins. Come on, just nice and just just easy. Just drop those. Oh no. Oh, I've, I've got no, oh, no. Um, like I said, struggle begins right right now. Let me just throw these behind me. So it's it's not all gumdrops and butterflies out here. Let me be perfectly straight. The rain's not helping with that. But you know what? We're making some decent headway on cleaning out this little field here. I got a lot of work to do if I want to get all the way down though. I, I can't even really show you how big, how much more space we've taken. It's ridiculous how big this field's gonna be when we get done. But it's gonna be like a winter project, I think. It's just cleaning out all the logs out here. Come on, just load in nicely, please. <laughs> Come on, load. Because I always drop one out and then I have to sit here for like five minutes and trying to grab it with just the forks and pitch it out. At least I haven't dumped the trailer yet. Either that or that happens. That's always great too. But I, w I would say that, you know, at least, you know, 69% of the time we are kind of grabbing a decent amount of logs. Whether they all stay together, well, that's hit and miss. You know what? <laughs> you got to fight a little bit to get them in here. And you get a decent amount, you got to be satisfied with that. There's only so much clamping force you can really put on with this. And a lot of times you lose some stuff. Whatever, it's it's fine, it, it's fine. And then the loading part really ends up being where the fight ends up being most of the time. But I mean, you start doing the math in your head and each one of these loads is, you know, $20,000 worth of logs. It does make it worthwhile quite easily. I mean, it doesn't take time or much to justify doing this. Even when you get one log that kind of falls off and you have to spend an extra couple minutes just trying to fix it. It, it is what it is. It's still worthwhile. It definitely is worthwhile. It's a pain. There is some frustration. But hey, it's, um, ah, that's what always one. There's always, it seems like one log. Get into your home. I'm telling you. Well, I think I got time for another load maybe today. One more down there and um, we'll call it. Hopefully, um, hopefully December's not too bad. Hopefully we can get some more logging done. I'll see you guys. Oh, boy. Once I get this log loaded up, I'll see you guys in the morning, all right? We'll see you guys tomorrow. Ugh, logging. Stay on there, please. Well, guys, uh, December's here, and of course, so is the snow. Made uh, some decent money, though. I mean, I've been working away this morning a little bit, trying to clean some stuff up. I mean, look at, we've got $161,000. Not bad, another like 50 grand since last night. I've been working away hauling logs. Um, the John Deere is still running good, but guys, this, we need to talk about this. The tree harvester, the, the tree, the tree worker, the, the delimmer. You know what? It's worked out fairly well, but the stop and start all the time. I think it's time we went to an upgrade. I think I need to upgrade that. I mean, we've done a lot of damage, but man, there's a lot more to do. This is what we bought instead. It was, it was worthwhile. A hundred and what? $80,000 after we sold the delimmer. Not bad. We got a Komatsu. Got a Komatsu tree for or tree harvester, guys. This is gonna make things a little interesting. Uh, we'll see how she runs. I've got lots of trees to go knock down, and the snow she's flying. Yeah. But guys, that is gonna do it for this video. For more on the Komatsu when we get this into work, make sure you guys hit the subscription button. Of course, don't forget to slap the like on your way out. And you know what? For more of our million dollar series, go check out how we did on Western Wilds as we built a ten million dollar silage farm in 10 years go check that series out if you haven't done so already other than that folks have a fantastic day and i'm gonna catch you next time this is clutch over and out